Hello, my name is Chris Siegel, and today I'm going to show you how to take a signature from a scan and turn it into a nice insertable object that you can put inside your documents and put it over the signature line and move around. All right. So first, go ahead and scan your image. I'm not going to show you that today because it's not going to be super helpful um, because scanning depends on the, the scanner that you have, and the software might be a little different. So we'll skip that for today, but if you want me to show you how to do that, just let me know in the comments. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, open an image that I've already scanned as a signature. And oftentimes when you scan it, it, it comes out and needs to be rotated and things of that nature. So if you just double click it, it's going to open in Windows Photo Viewer, if that's your default, um, as it is for most people. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, what I'm going to do is right click, open with, and choose paint. Um, hold down control and roll your mouse wheel to get it to a manageable size where you can really see it. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right to get it looking a little better. Choose the select and zoom in a little bit so you can get a good angle on it and carve it out. You can go right up to the line. When you release it, it's going to move it slightly over. As you can see, and then hit crop, and you can now save it. I'll put this one on my desktop so we know where to find it for this video. We'll call it cropped TIFF signature. Now it's not going to be quite ready yet, it's still going to be in raster format. We need to move it into a vector format image so that it scales nicely if you want to resize it as well. Uh, it's telling me to put it in my pictures folder, that's fine. Okay. So next, we're going to go ahead and open Inkscape, uh, which I don't have it, but Windows is telling me where I can get it. So I hit Start and type Inkscape, and it'll tell you to go to inkscape.org, and then you can choose Download with the current version here. And I'm going to choose Windows. 64-bit, which most PCs are now, MSI. MSI just means uh, it's the installer file as opposed to getting the whole uncompressed executable file, which your browser may complain about due to security anyway. It prefers to download other formats. All right, as you can see, I fast-forwarded to the uh, finished downloading and installing here. So let's go ahead and click Finish. And now we can use it. So Inkscape showed up on my desktop. I'll double click that. Here it is. All right. So go ahead and take your uh, TIFF image, not the original here, but the one that you've um, cropped, which I put in my documents folder. And you'll have to change it to either all images, which may work, or you may have to specifically say, TIFF. Now there's two types of TIFFs. There's TIFF and there's TIFF. I actually put it in the pictures folder. There it is. Okay. And you can just leave it on the defaults here. That's fine. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is if you're like me and you sign with Blue Ink, you're going to want to go ahead and go to, well, actually, we're going to do this whether you sign with Blue Ink or not. It's just more. Uh, obvious when you do it with blue ink. You're going to want to do this either way. Go to Path, Trace Bitmap. Over here you're going to change this to 0 .880 uh, or just 0 .88 I guess is the same thing. And oh, it's probably not going to do anything because I didn't click on it. So click on it first. You'll see that box around it. Uh, and then you can hit Update to see a preview here. It's making it black and white but it's also kind of getting information about it. So let's go ahead and accept that. And uh, now we're going to lock the aspect ratio here. We're going to change the units to inches because if you're like me, it's a little easier to understand. We're going to change the file size by dropping it down to one inch uh, with that aspect ratio. Press enter. So this is the one we're going to toss now. So grab that and delete it. Hit the delete key. 
Now you can select this one and hold down Control Shift D. Um, once this pops up, click Resize Page to Content and click Resize Page to Drawing or Selection. Excellent. Um, so now you can see it's still an inch wide. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. It's going to scale really nicely now. Um, so there's one more step we're going to take here. We're going to double click on the image and any little pieces that you don't want to be included in your signature, you can select them and hit delete. You can actually draw a little box around the parts and hit delete and then hit escape when you're done and you'll see it's cleaned up. So for me, I want to get rid of this little line right here. So I'm going to double click that and I'm just going to draw a square roughly around it and just clean some of that up there because I don't want that part of my signature. And you may need to do some more cleanup depending on what you have going on in the background of your image here. In fact, some signatures, depending on the background, you may even need to um, open it in a, in a GIMP, which is another, which is a raster base instead of a vector based program like this, where you can change the, the background quite easily with colorization. And I can show you that in another video if you're interested, just let me know in the comments. All right, so let's go ahead and export this now. So we're going to do um, File, Save As. And we're going to choose EMF, Enhanced Meta File. There are other formats that would work, but this one I've had a lot of luck with. So I'll put it on the desktop, and we're going to call it um, Vector Signature. You can call it whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit Save, and I'm just going to leave the defaults here. That's fine. It's important to note that, um, let me go ahead and grab it real quick. Um, it's important to note that uh, when you have it in inches, a good way to look at it, to keep it kind of small like this. Otherwise, the file size can get out of hand. All right, we can close this now. You can close without saving. It's telling you to save it in another format, but we've already got it how we want it. So let's go back to our document. Um, in my case, I'm working with uh, OpenOffice, but you could use anything. I'm going to click right there on the signature line, insert uh, picture from file. And I've done this with Microsoft Word, too, so it's, it works pretty good like that. And there's our vector signature open. And there it is. We can now resize it. And because it's a vector signature, uh, I'm sorry, a vector image, it's going to um, resize quite nicely.